Hey everybody, this is Darth Bryboy. Uh, hopefully this will work this time around. And what I mean by hopefully this will work, I mean hopefully doing a Blu-ray and DVD updated short one will work out in my favor. This software has been shit on this computer. Um, software that was great when I first installed it on here has been shit. It has become shittier, I should say. I'd like to blame Windows Update for that, because fuck Windows Update. But I got two trilogies. I got the Back to the Future trilogy, which I got on Prime Day. We got Spy Kids, the first three Spy Kids films. I just bought, I might have just bought the uh, fourth one on eBay for 10 bucks in shrink wrap. You know, for the longest time, you know, I am a quote-unquote completionist. And the Spy Kids films were the only series of films that I had refused to buy all of. Because that's a goddamn train, gotta love Shut up, train, you dick. <laughs> so, let's get a little bit of that. Yeah, some more action going on. <sighs> oh, I have a knife. I used to like peeling these off for some reason. I don't know if I was a moron, but my guess is yes, because I like to peel these things off. You know, these used to come on like things from 2018, I guess. Maybe it works well when there's better light, I guess. Makes more sense. I guess it doesn't glitch as much when there's light. Okay. Okay. Oh, we got discard. I don't know what the occasion is that uh, whoever the fuck owns this series now, Miramax and Lionsgate, because it used to be the Weinstein's, but I think they've lost all ownership of it. Apparently, the people who you can blame for Spy Kids 4 are the wine scenes, because apparently Robert Rodriguez is contractually obligated to make that movie. At least, that's something I saw on Twitter. I should look into that further, but I don't really care right now. They do have good discard. I used to own Spy Kids 3 on DVD years ago, and it was a nice two-disc set. Wish I still had it. Oh, I forgot to do the whole thing. Of course. I was wondering what snapped off it, but uh, yeah, this, uh, this case just broke. And now there's computer fan noise. So I definitely know I'm going to be hearing computer fan noise in the video. Okay. So these kind of just look like the DVD uh, discard except for Blu-ray. I could rip all three of these. What's nuts to me is the actress who played Carmen in this series has a kid of her own, maybe two at this point, because uh, she was born in 1980. 
nine. Well, I'll just show you how old these are at this point. I mean, this is a nostalgic trilogy. Um, apparently, the Machete films. Canon to this because of Danny Trejo. That's, I don't know why Machete is canon to Spy Kids, but it is. And it looks like whatever I did seems to have worked. So that's good. Um, I'll just adjust the gain in Premiere and see what happens. And now we got Back to the Future. Back to the Future Trilogy. This is my third time owning this trilogy. Not because I wanted to. Well, I kind of wanted to. But because I think my old trilogy set was getting disc rot. And was deteriorating. Even though the discs did seem to work okay. And you can't be too careful with DVD as a format. So why did my dumbass buy a 2015 DVD set? I don't know. This is a very nice DVD set, though. Um, despite it's, I keep putting my tan elbow on the uh, on the uh, headphone jack cable. So let me just show you the discs real quick. Doing this okay. I'm not gonna bother taking the disc out. We got the bonus discs. Um, and you have some inside art. Kind of. Uh, and you've got your contents. I'm sure this came with a slipcover at some point, but that was probably five years ago. And the irony is that now we are in the 35th anniversary for this trilogy. So, we got two trilogies, I guess. Yeah. Got my thumbnail. Guess I'm done, so live long and prosper and have a good day.